The first thing I did was get really good numbers and I'm talking about my GPA and my LSAT score. These are the two most important factors in law school admissions because law school admissions want to ensure that the students that they accept are going to excel in their law schools and eventually go on to become successful lawyers. And the main metric they look to to determine that is a student's GPA from undergrad and their test scores, aka their LSAT or GRE scores. What, like it's hard? In my case, I had a law school admissions committee, aka LSAC, weighted GPA of 4.11 when I applied. The LSAT has their own formula for GPAs, including A pluses equaling 4.3. So because I had an AA plus average during my undergraduate years, that's how I had a 4.1 GPA. And my LSAT score was 170. At the time, these statistics were very competitive to get into the top law schools. The second thing I did was stack up my work experience. Even though I graduated one year early and went straight through to law school, it didn't stop law school admissions officers from considering my work experience that I had attained that far. More specifically, I had done several internships and research positions by the time that I applied to show law schools that even though I didn't have formal full-time work experience, I was ready for the challenge of what law school was going to offer me. That only leaves one for... So in that vein, over both of my undergraduate summers, I interned at a big law firm, DLA Piper. I did primarily marketing work and a little bit of legal research, but really the name brand and the exposure to the legal field helped and looked good on my resume. In addition to that, I did several research positions under political science and economics professors during my fall and spring semesters. This not only built my relationships with these professors, some of whom I later asked for letters of recommendation, but again, it showcased that I was willing to use the free time that I had outside of school for things that were productive. And lastly, during one of my spring semesters, I interned at the White House under President Obama. I went to UC Berkeley and the UCs have a system called UCDC, sometimes called UC Washington, where you as a student can elect to spend one semester or quarter in Washington DC, taking classes while also interning somewhere in the Capitol. For me, I was lucky enough to be chosen to be one of the White House interns under the Council of Economic Advisors. And like I said earlier, what this did was show these law school committees that I was serious about spending my free time in productive ways and that I was ready for the rigor of law school. So while taking time off between undergrad and law school can boost your application and of course give you invaluable work experience, don't count yourself out if you're planning on going straight through. If you can stack up work experience after work experience, then you'll be in great shape when it comes to application season. And the last thing I did, this is kind of a cop out because it's not in the normal application season, but it's that I crushed my 1L grades. I did my 1L year at the NYU School of Law because when I applied initially to law school as an undergrad student, I was so afraid that I wasn't gonna get into the top schools that I applied early to NYU. And when you're accepted into an early decision program like I was at NYU, the traditional expectation is that you should withdraw all of your other applications to other law schools and you have to go to that school that accepted you early. And so that's what I did. I got into NYU early. I was really happy. NYU was a great school. And I withdrew my apps from the other institutions like Harvard and Stanford. Well, you fast forward a year and I did really well my 1L year. I had almost a 4.0 GPA. And I thought to myself, why not throw my hat in the ring and apply one last time to Harvard and Stanford simply because I didn't give myself that chance the first time. I'm gonna walk out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna walk out of here. Speaking of which, I have a video on how to transfer law schools, which I think is a really great strategy to jump rank in law schools and set yourself up for a better career in the law. If you want to look at that video, it's down in the caption. But I applied to transfer and I got in. To be clear, I don't think it was just my 1L grades that got me into Harvard and Stanford, as it were. I think it was also the fact that my resume had a lot of this work experience and that my fundamental numbers from undergrad and my LSAT were also competitive. If your goal is to get into law school, then consider checking out my comprehensive 30 page guide to getting into law school. In this comprehensive 30 page guide, I walk through every tip and trick that I used to get into the best law schools at the time. In addition to that, this guide will answer questions like whether or not you should take the LSAT or GRE, how much work experience is sufficient, should you take time off between undergrad and law school, and once you get in, how do you negotiate scholarship offers among the different law schools that have accepted you? It's the price of a cup of coffee, and every single dollar goes to support the content that we're producing on this channel. Thank you for the support. As always, smash that sub button, and I will see you around.